What is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to the Thursday show music. Oh, it's working. Hey, the button worked today. What's going on? Dad zips. Welcome to the third episode of Pre-Built and Gaming. This one is actually sponsored though. So I wanna be super clear about that. This one is sponsored by Thermaltake. So we are still going to be a, doing a deep dive, but in terms of review, this isn't so much a review. We're gonna give you all of the information. Then of course, you can make the decision as, uh, as you see fit based on the information we're going to give you. Given that this is a paid stream, I am never going to give you, I will give you opinions, but the other thing too is I never let companies pay for reviews. That's not fair, that's not gonna work, and therefore um, I wanna make sure that when I do a review, which we will be doing later on this video, post this stream, uh, that we give you guys our thoughts that are not inhibited by the old dollar dollar bills. That's not to say that I'm not gonna be brutally honest today on the stream as I see stuff, Thermal takes aware that this is a pre-built in gaming. Uh, and so uh, we're, still gonna, we're still gonna dive in, but again, I'm not gonna give you my final thoughts or review, whatever it was, companies can't pay for that. But that doesn't mean today is not gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. This is a good looking system. I mean, from a pretty end, of course, we have a closed front and all that sort of stuff, but probably definitely one of the better looking pre-built that we've actually gotten uh, in here on the show. And the other thing too, as I also say, is I didn't know Thermal Take did pre-built systems. So I was a little surprised when I found out that they actually had these and then come to find out uh, that they actually do. Now, this is part of Intel Gamer Days. And if you guys haven't noticed, if you've been li living a little bit under a tech shell, Intel Gamer Days is like a 15 day celebration of all things Intel. Uh, and there's usually incredibly good deals on things like pre-built PCs, uh, you know, uh, even deals on like getting your own PC built. Uh, there's usually a ton of giveaways, a bunch of creators get involved. I'm doing a bunch of stuff for Intel Gamer Days as well. If you've seen any of the teasers on PC Works or Liquid House for ARC, um, you know, I've been a part of the launch for that stuff, which is why we didn't have as much streaming uh, in the month of August. Um, so it's, there's a lot going on, which is a lot of fun, but I am back. I'm here chilling with you guys, and I'm really excited about today's show. So what we're gonna do today, just to kind of give you an overview, what is pre-built in gaming? So pre-built in gaming, the whole point is, is that companies, and we've had stuff like Main Gear, um, we've had ABS show up in here. Uh, we've act, this will be thermal take. We've got another Corsair system coming in. So they send us these systems. We put them through the ringer. And then we also come here on the live show. We look at what they say they're gonna sell when you look at it. Look at the build quality. Uh, we tear it down, just kind of look at the whole thing. And then we throw it over here on the bench and we live bench it, benchmark. We do a cost analysis. It's basically all the same stuff we would do for a review, but we just do it live with you and then you guys can ask whatever questions you want um, about that. And so we're gonna go over the refund policy, the warranty policy, we go over um, just the costing and all that sort of stuff and just kind of put it all through uh, the same thing that you would want to so that for if you like this system, you can make a really good informed purchase decision and pick up a copy or pick up a copy, pick up a copy of uh, this uh, thermal take system. So uh, we do have giveaways and all that stuff is still happening today. So all that stuff is still the same. Uh, if we get three, this because this is a lower watch show, uh, we make the threshold a little bit lower. So we're gonna give away one $25 new a gift card. If we get to 275 likes over on youtube.com slash Ruby tech live. Uh, also, if we get a level five, all we have to do is get one level five hype train. If we do a level five hype train, we'll give away another $25 new egg gift card as well. Lastly, we do have a 3080 up for grabs for the month of August and September. If you want to get on that, head on over to twitch.tv slash Ruby tech hit your that Amazon Prime subscription. Use your Amazon Prime. It comes free if you have Amazon Prime. That gets you a free entry in toward winning a GPU. Now, if you don't want to win a GPU, sorry, if you want to get if you want to get more entries, you can subscribe at tier one that gets you three extra entries. You subscribe at tier two that gets you five. You subscribe at tier three that gets you ten extra entries. And then finally, uh, every time you gift a sub, uh, like so many people normally do, so for instance, Extreme Rip subscribed to tier three, he got 10 entries towards that GPU giveaway. Every extra one that you ever gifted sub also gets you an additional entry as well. Lastly, down there in the bottom right hand corner, we have the PC giveaway. Um, that is uh, starting to climb up there. We still got, what, 19 days left. So if we hit that, then we'll give away a PC right here on the stream. We're gonna be building that in early September. So you guys will see what that system is. And then we've given two PCs away. Uh, just uh, via this method. So it's just a way to help us and at the same time also help you uh, walk away with a cool PC. Lastly, there is a main gear PC that is up for grabs as part of the deal that we did yesterday. It's the exact same system that you saw from Blondie. So you could be a PC twinsy if you want to. Man, Hunter War, 
given out 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much for that, man. That's huge. Super appreciate that. And now he can go get that level five hype train right there. So if you guys wanted to jump on the train, uh, you could do that right away. Uh, if you want, if you're interested, um, if you're interested in entering that main gear, uh, I don't know, uh, Blondie, if you could go find the tweet and get the Gleam link, we could actually start uh, posting that here as well. So that. That's all the giveaway stuff that's happening. We are having some other giveaway. We're gonna be doing a giveaway with Corsair uh, starting the middle of September, uh, as well as the PC. So three chances to win a PC from Robitech um, uh, this month. So uh, <clears throat> my PC twinsy, Blade of Ice, throwing 300 bits in there. Just need like, what, two more people? And then we'll basically, we'd be most of the way through level five already. If we got a couple more people wanna jump in on that and then we'll, we'll get started on today's episode. It's less, today I, I try to do less about the level five and stuff like that. It's just, it's supposed to be chill. Riddick, look at that, gifting a sub to A178569. Look at that right there. We got A17569. I don't know who that is, but one more on entry and then we basically unlock it. There it is. Let's get it done and get it out. Let's get it out of the way so we can just start talking about the PC build. How is everybody doing? Everybody enjoy the stream yesterday? I, I am, I, I do have an interesting question for you guys. And it was something that I noticed is a lot of you, a lot of my, a lot of my more core audience, Blade of Ice, uh, oh, he, you already did one, buddy, so uh, thank you for the extra, but we need one more person who's not you. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're still considering, we're still looking as we go into the fall time, if 6 p.m. is too late for people. So if you have thoughts on that, if we maybe move to five, if that might be better. If you wanna head on over to Discord, chime in over at Discord on your feedback and stuff like that, if maybe this is too late. This used to be, actually, the original Robitech show used to start at 6.30, and it was 6.30 p.m. So I was trying to find something a little bit earlier, but I noticed a lot of people we have a court. Yes, we do, kill man. There, we, we do actually. Karingu! Karingu! Thank you very much for the gift of sub, and there's our hype train right there. Yes, it's too late. That's 7 p.m. for me, but Blondie used to be, it used to be 7.30. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's good, Blade. Okay, well, I appreciate you doing that anyway. That'd be 8 p.m. Eastern time, much better. I know, I know. Yeah, it's because, I mean, it's 9 p.m. So, anyway, so you guys are the you guys are the audience they build this around. So if you guys have feedback, let Blondie know some time. She'll kind of break it down for me as best we can. Uh, believe it or not, Twitter actually kind of thought five o'clock was probably the better time. I might have pushed it too far going to six and not listening to anybody. Uh, but it is something we're considering because I know a lot of people want to stick around for the whole show and maybe this is just a little late. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, enough. The other thing too is Blondie's not gonna be sleeping anyway with her new PC, so she can be she's gonna be up at all hours of the night anyway. We know that's why we built that PC, right? <laughs> Blade of Ice dropping a thousand bits, man. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we can do a poll. Yeah, we can do a poll and let people vote. Uh, let's do a vote for four, five, and six. Let's go ahead and do a vote for four, five, and six, and then we'll see what comes out of that. And then we'll ask some other questions and we'll compile all that data all up. Um, yeah, that's true. And with that, all that RGB we've done, uh, it's going to be a good nightlight for sure. Um, but yeah. No, not three, four, and five. Three is too early. Three is too early. It's going to be four, five, and six. Three is too early. Um, it's too early for Pacific time. I think five is probably going to end up being the best, like, in-betweener. 24, 6, 8, who do we appreciate? Kurosaki, Kurosaki. Yay, Kurosaki. Do you like that? You like how I do that in there? Okay, guys, uh, let's just get that last... Let's knock those things out. Can we get to, let's add, can we get to 360? Because then we'll be 360 towards the goal, and that'd be cool. Can we just get another tenner, and then we'll be out? Three, two, three, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Blade of Ice, Blade of Ice. Everybody loves Blade of Ice. I'm just doing it all for everybody. Oh, and then Blondie, uh, don't remind me, uh, Saturday, we're going to put the new names on the um, on the thing. So if you want to send me the names for the the, 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 the uh, bell mat, we'll put those on on, Sunday, on Saturday. The Amazon listing excludes a PSU wattage, for example. Yeah, we're gonna go through all that today, Org, so you guys can look at it. We, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure, because I know Org is specifically looking at this system right now. He's gonna get it, right, Org? You really wanted this? Does it really not include the wattage? We found a couple things about their stuff, like they misspelled 3060. Ha! Huh! There we go. Hunt to War, Dragon getting out there. Five gifted subs, and then that is it. We are done. We've unlocked the level five hype train, but we'll see if we get more hype later uh, in the show if you guys want to. Okay, thank you very much, Hunter War. Thank you, Blade of Ice.
Thank you, Karingu. Am, am I saying your name right, Karingu? Because I like saying it that way, but I hope that's uh, that's actually the right way to say it. Um, yeah, or look at, yeah, he's, he's thinking. Okay, so let's talk about this system. I got it up right here. Okay, so the system we're talking about today, hopefully this just works. I hope, sometimes I do. Okay, cool, here it is. Oh, I got the wrong camera. Let me switch to the other camera. That's in the, uh, that's in the, that's a great shot of my belly. Oh, I want this one. And we're gonna hide, we're gonna show this one. Why is it not showing? Oh, I don't care that right about here about this. Okay, there we go. There you go. All right, so the system we're talking about today is the Thermaltake LCGS Avalanche. It's an i370T uh, is the model number. It's AIO liquid cooled. It's got a Core i7-11700K. It's got a uh, DDR4 3600 megahertz, 16 gigs, RGB memory, which was important to them. Uh, it's got a GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. It's got a one terabyte NVMe M.2 with Windows 10 Home. Um, and so let's see what else we can see from this. Closed loop, 300, so it's got a 360 millimeter radiator. It's got one USB 3, two USB 3.0, uh, one USB 3, two USB 2.0, a headphone and a mic port, and a PSU with filtered ventilated stuff. Okay, here, let's see what else we got down here. Uh, it says eight gig graph RAM size. And that's kind of everything we have on the system. Now, I do want to bring this up. So uh, I didn't know much about Thermal Take. So originally, and just for Intel Gamer Days, just for Intel Gamer Days, uh, they're selling the system for $1,699.99. So it was actually over $2,000 originally. Now, we had our man, Thomas, uh, go through and so we did we chose some parts here and I'm just gonna bring up Thomas's email because we you know this is you're getting you guys are getting some some back some back behind the scenes stuff but here we are Tom our man Tom thank God bless him uh, went back and he was like hey let's go see here's the same system so the system itself as it is now is uh and here's this it's so it's like the third here it was is seventeen hundred dollars so we we went through and Kevin uh, basically went through and looked at all the parts in here and then Ke uh, Thomas put together a similarly priced system based on part availability. So Core i7, uh, $280 and this is with the promo code uh, Game Days. Uh, Thermaltake TH360 ARGB Snow White Edition, which is actually the one that's in here. Uh, the motherboard, we did an MSI Z590 Pro, which is actually the same one that's in here. So it is a Z590 board, Best Buy 190 bucks. You got tough RAM, 16 gigs. I can get an Amazon for $130. Uh, you've got an Intel 660p, one terabyte NVMe SSD. We don't know, we're gonna find out what NVMe is inside of this. The Asus Tough Gaming RTX 3070 Ti, 677. The Thermaltake Divider 300TG is the name of the case. That's 100 bucks on Newegg. We've got Thermaltake Tough Fan White, 120. We got two of them because the case comes with some. So that makes it 50 bucks. And then we've got a smart 700 watt Amazon. Now, the one that the, we're, we're gonna see the PSU that's in this in just a few minutes, but the PSU is in this is actually non-modular. Like it looks like an OEM PSU, but we chose a 700 watt, which is, tells you how much wattage is inside of it. And the total for this whole thing was 1,655 bucks. So 1,655 versus 1699 is actually a pretty good deal. So we would say if you were gonna go buy, and this is even with parts on sale, there's actually only about a $40 markup on the system if you were to pick it up as sale as part of Intel Gamer Days. And we have thermals and all that stuff. Now we're gonna do that independently, but I have all of those numbers and all that stuff. So you guys are gonna know fully how this thing performs uh, based on what's inside of it. Uh, so yeah, $16.99 versus $16.40 if you were gonna go pull all the parts individually. So that's where it is. Now, uh, always another thing I always like to talk about with this is obviously warranty, right? Because you're like, hey, I wanna go pick up a system like this. Uh, yeah, I know, uh, review for the tube, yes, I agree. It, it is not bad uh, in terms of the cost. Now, it would be a little bit harder to swallow at 2,000, but at the price that they're showing at right now, it's actually a really good price. Okay, so here's the warranty on stuff. And I got sent this, so all cases, excluding physical damage is three years. Uh, it's not responsible for physical damage on the product. And then PSU with the case is three years. Who is covered under the warranty? It's the original customer is covered under the warranty. So this is a non-transferable warranty. So if you were to purchase the system and then sell it, apparently you have to have proof of purchase with this for the warranty to work. Um, and of course it's stuff, it's like, in it, it, the warranty, uh, 
let's see where they have it. Memory refurbished. Oh, here it is. This is the one I want. Okay, so one year. Sorry, the so sorry. The warranty for this is LC is one year, and then and then we actually have the return policy here. And then it's again non-transferable. Uh, warranty does not cover faulty damage caused by natural wear and tear. Any damage related unrelated to manufacturing defects makes sense. Uh, unsuitable environment or use of the product in thermal takes opinion. Now that's very open. I don't know who who what that is, uh, but there's a pro for, for open for interpretation. Open product has been modified without permission from thermal take on uh, on which the serial number or warranty sticker has been defaced, modified, or review. So I think if you were to do upgrades to this, and I asked for, I'll, I'll ask for some clarification, but if, potentially if you were to do upgrades to this, there could be an issue in terms of them honoring the warranty. Uh, accident, abuse, misuse, neglect, fire, water, lightning, or other acts of nature, commercial or industrial use, unauthorized product modification, or failure to follow instructions included with the product. Uh, third party products including thermal tape components will not be covered by the warranty. So uh, I'm assuming if, if, it's, if it was installed as part of this, Oh, if it was installed as part of this, then you would have to go in there. Uh, and so, sorry about that. Uh, and then, and then uh, unauthorized repair to the product will be void. The warranty officer offered under warranty, thermal take reserves, and then does not warrant this product will meet customer requirements. Okay, so it looks like, you know, pretty straightforward, pretty straightforward, um, pretty straightforward uh, ref, uh, warranty one year. That's pretty standard comparatively to stuff like NZXT and other ones. Uh, nothing too crazy in there. And actually, one thing that is uh, one thing that's a big improvement over one thing that's a big improvement over uh, anything else is that at least it's really clear. Like when you, if you go and look at Overkill computers right now, good luck finding any warranty information on that. So hey, Jerfaz, what's up, man? It's good to see you. Um, the P uh, Hunt Award. You'd have to check the website. You have to check their Gleam information. I don't know. The, yeah, I, you'd have to go check the, ble the Gleam information for that. I, they're running that giveaway, not me. So, but she's, uh, looks like Glenn is going to look. Uh, it says, also, last thing is it says uh, uh, proof of purchase needs to get in there. Now, the other thing that they also had on here, which is actually pretty crazy, is they actually have, and I haven't read this yet either, but they do have a return and refund uh, policy as well. And I was sent this as part of this, so I thought it was cool that they were open to uh, send this out. Uh, computer systems return to Thermaltake without, without an issued RMA uh, number by Thermaltake, which means you have to call their customer service and then get an RMA in order to return. So if you weren't just, just box it up, and uh, if you were to just box it up and send it to them, uh, they may not like that. Uh, if you accept the computer must be shipped with original packaging materials, manuals, and copy of the invoice. Uh, replacement package can be requested from Thermaltake, and then they'll, pro they'll provide a 100% refund within 30 days of the delivery of the price of the computer. No refund credit or exchange will be allowed after 31 days from the date of delivery. So you essentially have a 30-day period if you don't like the system or if you find an issue with it to actually get a 100% refund. Pretty cool. I, I do like that. So there's a, there's a little bit of information. Anything else that you guys want to know uh, about that? Um, anything else that you guys want to know? I'm just trying to... Can't, can you, so you can't even take it apart to clean the dust potentially. So Blade of Ice, you could actually, I think that's the problem. I think what they're, I don't think they have an issue with you cleaning it out or taking it out. I think what they'd have is like, say for instance, you then like you replace the AIO or you put in additional RAM or uh, you added an M.2. That may be a point in which you do a warranty void. I will ask Thermaltake that question because I'm guessing there's probably some things like adding an M.2 drive, adding additional RAM, stuff like that that's not gonna be an issue. But if you were gonna do something like say, replace the entire motherboard or uh, you know replace uh, the PSU or something like that, those might be things that might potentially void the warranty. And I, you do have to understand like, and I've, I've uh, just, just a little bit of uh, information for those of you who are curious. We've talked to a lot of of these um, SIs and OEM manufacturers. And there's a lot of testing these guys do when they put these configurations together. So the moment that you start changing components, 
I mean, because you can do, you could buy RAM that's incompatible. You could buy a GPU that could short the motherboard. I mean, there's a lot of things you could actually try and do that could cause harm, that these things aren't, you know, that they have parameters they try to stick through through this. And so I see where that's where the warranty part can get dicey because it is technically user negligence or user error as to why the PC may have broken. Mm. Hey, what's up, Nugia? What, what was that? Was what were they streaming on Newegg? So, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, and uh, I want to know what it is. I want to know what love is. I want to know what love is too, Rotten Treat. So, anything else that you guys, uh, anything else that you guys want to know? Oh, gamer day deals. Okay, anything good, Nugia? It feels like you guys did I cover that pretty well? Do you guys feel like you have it? If not, we'll start looking into the system. Oh, well, that, that's right. Are you a supreme being? I am. I am a supreme being. That's why I wear it. Oh, good. Well, there we go. Najia Najia found some good deals. I, you know, honestly, they usually have some pretty good. And right now with everybody trying to, <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of karma coming back on tech companies right now. That's all, thing, that's all, that's all I got to say. All right. If there's, if that's all the info, are you guys ready to start tearing this down and let's see how the build is and stuff like that. I just want to make sure you guys are, this show is giving you the information you want as we go through this. But the only way I'll know that is if you tell me and you guys just seem so stunned with my quality thing. I've been on Xbox for a long time. What's a, what is a good starter PC? Uh, you know, honestly, Cameron, it all depends on your budget. Um, I will say we have a couple thousand dollar ones that we've got up, uh, up there. They're now way less than a thousand dollars. Um, that are good starter PC. So like a 12 400 F, a 3060 Ti um, with a, you know, with a B660 motherboard um, that's sub a thousand bucks will do you, do you pretty solid at 1440p. And is actually more powerful than your Xbox uh, already. So that could be a good option. But again, still more expensive than an Xbox for sure. <clears throat> and then yeah, of course, uh, Cole's right. Our techs could totally help you. Though they seem to be very AMD. They're, they're like big AMD GPU fans. So I know that's something that's a big difference between... Um, yeah, I know. I want to... I, I, so I wrote, I wrote Corsair about the bendable monitor. I haven't... Yeah. It's... Uh, so I, I, I wrote Corsair... Yeah, we, no. Uh, I wrote Corsair about the bendable monitor to see if we can get a hold of that. That thing looks pretty cool. Uh, from an SI, expect to spend like 13 for a 1080p gaming rig, closer to 15, 16 for a 1440p. If Vlog says, laugh out loud, we like value. <clears throat> yeah, I like, uh, the thing is, I like drivers and stuff like that. So I agree that value, but again, just, I think the one thing that's always different, and I love, and don't get me wrong, I will never argue with my text. You, anything that they say, that they come back and they say, hey, we recommend this system is 100% backed by me. Um, that's why we have them. But they, like, I, I will say, we, I have a tendency to test a lot more stuff, and we just have a ton of issues still with AMD. I, like, we just, like, I just put what, like, I replaced the system on my main, I was gonna do my main gaming monitor, I got a 6950, um, and I was using the 6950, and I just had a ton of issues with my 4K OLED. Um, and FreeSync. So then I had to go back to a 3090 Ti because it just, I was like, ah, oh, I want to, I want to use an AMD system. The Radeon thing just corrupted a bunch of crap. It was just like, I was so frustrated. And I was like, I don't understand how everybody else doesn't have this problem. But every time that I do it, I just have a ton of issues with their drivers. Um, and uh, I don't know why. So, but there again, like I said, it's just one of those things that, again, if you go and talk to them, they will give you all the answers that you essentially need. Uh, and they're great. Yeah. Uh, they're great for basically getting good information. All right, we're going to start going into temps now, but let's go and start looking at the build. So let's take a look at it right here. Let's get a good look at it. I will say a couple things, just looking at the outside of the case. There is some additional, there is some additional uh, air places and then I don't know if you can see this I'll get a close look here so you guys can see this on the side here oh I don't have an issue with their CPUs CPUs I have no problem with um, whatsoever though the window though the Windows folks do but we don't it's funny because we had a conversation with the Windows Compat Lab okay so let's see if we can get here so just giving you a good view here up close you can actually see there's actually a pretty big gap, at least a whole pinky wide. 
in terms of just airflow here on the side of the case. So this is, and it's the same thing on both sides. So it's very much like the H7 flow in terms of just having air for the front. Now, the front of the case is completely, do oh, you guys, am I looking? Oh no, you don't get to see what I'm seeing, sorry. This would help you. Okay, so let's show that again. Okay, so here on the side, you actually see there's an entire big, about pinky width in terms of pulling air through. So there's actually a pretty good size area to pull air through. And then you also have this additional area here. It looks like you can, and we'll, we'll open up the case here. You could potentially have side fans, I don't know yet. Um, in the back, uh, you know, in the back, uh, pretty standard here in terms of you just got, you know, it's, I mean, exhaust fan. Uh, there's no perforation here. So again, the only place you're basically getting exhaust here. I know in some of the airflow cases, now they've done a better job of just making sure there's tons of perforation so air escapes in general. The top of the case also doesn't, like in terms of mounting an AIO, you're only got a 120 that you, or maybe a 240, no, it looks like, yeah, you can do a, you can do a, a 140 radiator at the top. Um, but it's a lot like the NZXT in terms of you've only got that single fan. The other thing too that's interesting, uh, and then we did some testing with this, is there actually is, I'm gonna see if I can get a good angle for it. There actually is, there you go, can you see that? There actually is a rate, like air can flow through the side. Now we did, we put some testing here to see if air was going in and out. It wasn't really that we noticed. So I guess this is maybe aesthetic, but there is some air. And maybe if you did, uh, if you did a, a, a big negative pressure situation, you might be able to get more air in here. But as it is spec right now, we weren't seeing a lot of airflow through this little side panel here, this side vent. And then finally on the front, it is very H7 in terms of you've just got glass, there's no perforation outside of on the side, you just have glass that's sitting in the front uh, of the case overall. So that's that's kind of the outside from a view from the end thing, looking through. Yeah, I agree, or they could have like, I don't, again, there's no real understanding as to why they made that decision um, and to only doing a, they, you could have easily done a 240 millimeter AIO at the top, so. I agree, Mamaya. I mean, I, I, I mean, temp-wise, I mean, I just, I prefer having, I prefer AIOs at the top, and that gives more airflow for the front, especially as GPUs become hotter. I prefer to get most of my cooling from the front of the case for the GPU and the top of the case for the AIO. Um, but uh, we can, we'll, we'll go through, we'll, we'll look at the temps. I, you know, we're gonna reserve, we're gonna reserve judgment for that stuff. You guys can make the decision based on the temps and stuff that we show here in a bit, so. <clears throat> the PCI cover looks, yes, the PCI covers are perforated. So yeah, that is something that is, that there is airflow there. I'm just talking about uh, on a lot of the, the, the backs of a lot of builds. Nowadays, the whole back is actually perforated, uh, not just the PCI covers. But I have actually seen cases, what was the last one we did? Oh yeah, the uh, fractals. The fractals all have solid PCI covers. Hey Igor, thank you for the, for the subs, man. Appreciate it. Welcome to VIP, Divine. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe someday, get right? that'd be fun. I'd like to design a case. Uh, T-Mac, uh, uh, don't say that yet because I wanna show you something that is actually pretty awesome. So we'll show this on the side. Don't, the hold, hold, hold airflow judgment until, hold airflow judgment until we show you temps. You know, we've been surprised the H7 flow, uh, sorry, the H7 from NZXT actually has really good temps despite the closed um, front panel. So don't, don't think that quite yet because you believe it or not, there's a lot of air that you can pull from there. Is it as good as it could be? No, but in terms of you're buying this configuration, um, in terms of it as a pre-built, which most people are just buying this to keep it and use it and do, it's probably absolutely fine off the seat. Okay, so here's, here's the side. Let's take a look at their stuff. Okay. Oh, here, check it out, inside. I didn't see this. Uh, LC, the LCGS system is actually built in the USA. Uh, Core i7, Z590, uh, you got a 30, 3070 Ti, uh, it's got tough RAM, DDR4, an 80 plus gold rated power supply. So that's a little better, that's better than main gear actually. A 360 millimeter closed loop AIO, one terabyte NVMe drive, 2.5 gigabyte LAN Wi-Fi 6E, 16.8 uh, ARGB sync, Windows 10 home and a one year warranty. And then there's your your number if you wanted to get service and support. Don't put that in there guys because it's a demo unit. So you'll you'll get flagged. Um, okay, so here, 
Cable management wise, pretty dang clean. You know, looking at this, you could if you wanted to, they've made it so you could very easily, check that out, you could very easily get hard drives in there. They, I mean, even this, really nice job here. So this is the uh, front panels. They've actually zip tied this and hidden it. I didn't even know these cables were here looking from the front coming down. Uh, even here, really, really clean. Clean up here too. They've hidden all of the EPS stuff. And it is, it is actually, sorry, it is a Thermaltake 700 watt gold. I thought it was a, I thought it was a, I had heard it's an OEM, but it's just a 700 watt uh, Thermaltake PSU, which makes sense given it's a Thermaltake PC. So yeah, that's actually really clean. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. They proudly don't admit by Mr. X, but you do have to admit that that cable, cable management is actually really good. Thoughts? See you later, Igor. Thanks for popping in. I am, uh, I am very impressed. Now, the other thing too is that this is nice too, and this does have good room for airflow. It's a non-modular PSU. It's um, uh, hidden, it's just non-modular. And then this right here is actually pretty nice. If you wanted to add some additional intake, you could, and this could feed the GPU. So depending, this is an easy thing to add to. Roby, any Molex connectors, ooh. -hoo. Or why are you trying to trigger me? Why are you trying to trigger me? Yeah, the Unifans wallflower would look actually really good back there. Or it's trying to trigger me. But we're gonna look, because you guys asked. Okay, here we go. Are there any Molex cables? Okay, so they did bundle up the extra cables. And look at that. What's that, Ord? There it is right there. There is, and it's not really a rat's nest. Outside of that, that's kind of the only, oh, there's two spare bundles, but that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're not in use. No, no Molex that I can see that are in use. They have a couple other cables. We'll look from the front, but they do have a couple other cables in there. Man, this is really clean. I'm really impressed at how clean that is. All right, so let's take off the front. Take a look at the front here. <sighs> but I mean, like, if you look at, if you look at the, uh... oh, wow, okay. Okay. I was not expecting that. Okay, so here, now you can see, there's that perforation that you can see. So it actually has it. I, I don't know, it might be something if we add side fans, you might see more perforate, more air coming out of this, but there is actual perforation there um, for airflow on the side. You're gonna miss some Molex when it leaves. No, I won't. <laughs> okay, how? Okay, and then that just pulls off, okay. Okay, so there's your glass, which just kind of half clips off. Yeah, that could be precarious. I'll just be honest, there's some, definitely some, uh, some, uh, that's, it feels, it feels a little, feels a little dicey when you take the glass off. So here's the thing, Guardi Lupo question that, uh, that's a great point. Um, he says, hey, I think based on the pictures, um, I thought it was gonna be an EVGA GPU. So here's something about uh, pre-built. And one of the things I brought up even with main gear is there are companies like main gear origin um, who, when you buy a pre-ship system, they're very specific about the, the model and everything that you get in the, uh, in the PC. Now for these like thermal take, uh, NZXT cyber power, they will tell you the uh, the type, like they'll say 3070 Ti, but they won't necessarily say specifically what GPU it is. And one of the things that makes them more competitive uh, in terms of pricing and stuff like that is because they will buy things less expensively. So Main Gear says, hey, we wanna make sure that we have the most solid system. So we're gonna choose the parts, hyper test it, and make sure that the same configuration uh, for every PC we ship. That has a tendency to cost more money. When companies like uh, Thermaltake, uh, NZXT, and those guys, they will actually fluctuate and their pricing will fluctuate based on what components are able to get. So you may get 
EVGA in one, you might get Zotac in another, you might, but it'll be a 3070 Ti, but it won't always be the same brand. It'll be whatever is, whatever they're getting the best price on. And that's how they can be competitive from a cost standpoint. Yeah, custom, custard, ketchup and mustard. So. Uh, is it a compact case? Uh, I don't. I wouldn't say compact. It's actually a pretty typical size from a motherboard stand. From a from a uh, from a size standpoint, uh, very like this is essentially. Uh, it might. It looks like it's about the size of an H510. It is definitely smaller than a Corsair 5000D. So this is more. This is probably more of a compact-ish size, more aligned with like a Corsair 4000D. I mean, honestly, the P I, I, I have to agree with you, Bernie. The PC itself is actually really pretty. Um, I do like the white. I really am a huge fan of the aesthetics here. I mean, if you could get this build in all white, it would be very clean. Um, I do like the way that they ran the cables. This is actually really attractive. I really like tough RAM. And so there's just some great use of thermal take components in this to make it look really good. Not a huge fan of the ketchup and mustard cables. I do agree. You've got uh, mustard and pepper for these, but I will say in terms of cable management, they did a really good job. Like even this, because of where this sits, this looks very clear. This does look clean uh, given what they were able to work with. Hey, this MSI board though, this should look familiar. Very similar to the MSI. We used the B660 that was inside of, um, inside of the main gear system. But yeah, like pretty clean here. I think we've actually got a WD. I think this is a WD blue uh, NVMe SSD. We'll check that here in a second. Um, but yeah, and then even even this, check this out. I don't know if I, I see if I here. Let me get a. I'll do a zoom in on this from the top. I will say something else that I saw was actually pretty impressed about from a from a uh, from a from a standpoint. Check this out. Let's go to top down. So look at this. Look at some, this is cool. This is nice, just extra cable management there. So they have the cables running underneath, basically underneath the, um, uh, the uh, AIO, uh, what is this called? Sockets thing, I don't, I'm sorry, my, my mind's blanking, the, to hide the whole cable. Yeah, bracket, thank you very much. They have the uh, they have the cables hiding underneath the AIO bracket. Again, making this just look really clean. I am, the part I am probably the most impressed with right now is the cable management and just how clean they made the build look. I mean, some custom cables with this, I feel like spending the extra 20 bucks on some custom cables would really elevate this. I don't think anybody would complain about 20 bucks. I don't know, maybe people would. Let's take a look at the M.2 drive though. See what we got in here. So we've obviously got an ASUS Tough 3070 Ti. Uh, CPU we can see when we turn it on. Oh, we should look, we, if you guys want to. Now, we don't want to do that, but we'll. Uh, what we can do is after we run thermal tests, we actually have thermals already. Uh, we could shake a look and see what kind of, uh, how the, how basically, uh, how the spread is on the CPU just from a, from a uh, standpoint. But let's go and pop this out. See what, see what M.2 we have here. Okay, ooh, okay, wow. Surprised. That is not a, that is not an inexpensive uh, NVMe. That is a Seagate. Uh, one terabyte Barracuda. So it's a Gen 3 uh, Barracuda, one terabyte NVMe SSD. So it's their Q5. So that's not a cheap drive. That's actually a little bit nicer than I thought it was going to be. What's the six pin at the bottom of the MOBO? This is not, oh, that? Uh, this, is, uh, this is basically to adapt, add additional power to your PCI lanes. Uh, it's for things like back when SLI used to matter. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, so nicer, nicer NVMe drive. You know, good use of cable management here. Everything seems really tight. Um, we already have thermals uh, for this. Do you guys want to take a look? You guys want me to take a look at the uh, thermal paste application? And are you guys enjoying the show so far? You guys like what we're seeing? 
Is this helpful? <laughs> hey, Hunter War. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Good, I'm glad. Okay, cool. I don't wanna, well, why don't we, uh, what do you, uh, we, well, you guys wanna probably see thermals with it as it is, and then we'll let uh, Oregon those guys take a look. Okay, so that's, so uh, we did confirm Z590 motherboard, 3070 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte Seagate. Wow, that's still impressed by that. Uh, Thermal take 360, uh, 360 millimeter AIO, which is gonna be more than powerful enough for 11700K. Um, good cable, good quality cable management. Uh, case, interesting, right? We're gonna see from an airflow standpoint, but again, lots of places for it to pull airflow. They also did add RGB. We do have a uh, two exhaust fans, two 120 exhaust fans at the top, and we've got three intake. Um, so it means pressure is probably going to be pretty close to even. It's always it's always a gamble a little bit with this stuff. Again, one little thing we could do to improve GPU temps if GPU temps into being a problem is just adding a single uh, intake fan right here, and I bet you GPU temps would improve by quite a bit. And we'll again we'll have to see what CPU temps are like uh, here in just a minute. <laughs> Well, so what if I don't add heat sinks to, in, to SSDs? It, it, it really doesn't matter, creamy thick. It's, oh, sorry, 16 gigs of RAM, not 32. Is it, is it supposed to be 32 gigs? Tom? Okay, it's supposed to be 16, okay, just making sure. Thank you, Blondie. Okay, so it's 16 gigs of RAM, not 32 gigs, my bad, uh, uh, for tough RAM. I'd rather pay a little bit more and get decent cables instead of ketchup and mustard. Guardi Luga, I totally, I agree with that. I wish there was, again, it's always hard with, uh, with um, it's always hard with uh, PCs that are offered on things like Amazon or pre-builts that you don't get an option. I mean, it, even Main Gear, right? When we did Blondie's PC, I mean, everybody just thought, loved how clean the PC looked, just adding the custom cables. By the way, Hunter War, I don't know if I thanked you or not. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Is there room for a fan or two? There is, there's two, you could do two 120 millimeter fans in the back if you wanted to add additional fans. Ruby, I see the fix, you see you fixed the camera. I don't remember at first, was it the FP? We didn't, I didn't do anything. I actually didn't touch the camera at all. So that's good that I fixed it. Creamy thick, they don't. There are Origin, and when you do, uh, when you do custom PCs with Origin, Zydax, and main gear and um, uh, also with, uh, you know, other company of Falcon Northwest and companies like that. Yes, you get the option for custom sleeve cables, uh, but for pre-builts, I don't think there's a company that you currently does, uh, gives you the option for custom sleeves. Yeah, Gremlins, thank you, Org. So, all right, uh, it feels like that's it. I don't, I'm torn, I, 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 I'm torn on taking the AIO off. What we'll probably do is after we run thermals, let's run thermals on this, then we'll come back and we'll put the AIO on, uh, and then we'll take the AIO off. I wanna get you guys some additional stock numbers because, and then we'll see, we'll do a different AIO, uh, different thermal face application to see if that improves it. That may be a little bit better. Maybe it depends on the PSU provider. EVGAs, I have a fully blacked out cables and not those mixed color generic. Yes, Mayakins, yes, you're absolutely right. If you were to get like an EVGA, an ASUS, or a uh, Corsair, they would not have ketchup and mustard cables. So yes, that is something uh, Thermaltake could do is probably going to a higher end version of their own PSU, because I know they have PSUs that also have just black cables. Yeah. I mean, for such a clean build, it is like the one distractor. If these were just black, I think it would have actually just come out a little bit more clean. Yeah, you'd have, you, you couldn't change them out yourself. You'd have to add extensions because again, the one thing that is kind of tough is that it does, it is a module, fully, it's not a fully modular PSU. So you couldn't even like go and go to CableMod and be like, hey, I wanna get cables for this PSU. You'd have to completely change out the PSU. But yeah, doing that would just make an, all the difference in terms of how this looks. And I'm not saying this, actually it's funny because this is a very good looking system. 
Okay, so let's seal it up. Let's seal it up. Get it, uh, get it prepped for some testing. We already got everything on it, so don't worry, you're not gonna watch me install anything. I hate, hate speech. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, Justin. I think most of us do. I guess, I guess, not, actually not true. There are people who do like hate speech. Okay, and here, we'll put this on. It is a little easier to put this on when uh, the PC's on its side. put this on. There we go. There we go. Got to click it in apparently. All right, so there's that side. And then we'll lift it up and do the top. Ugh. Okay guys, 74 of 275. Head on over to youtube.com slash Roby Tech Live. Hit that thumbs up button, guy. Likes are free. You don't cost you anything, and they go towards unlocking a giveaway, thanks to Newegg. So if you want to head on over and do that, that would be huge. Estimate on weight. You know, that's a good question. Oh, it's pretty hefty. It's pretty hefty. Um, it is not as hefty as my origin. Uh, I, you know what, it's funny. I, I have no way to estimate on weight. I'm just so ripped that it all looks like to me. Uh, I can, you know what, honestly, it's probably in the, let me check the Amazon description. I do have a scale. We have a scale. Um, and it's downstairs. But it might be on the Amazon link, let me look. Thirty-seven pounds. Thirty-seven pounds is what it says for the item weight. Ah, uh, creamy thick. It was good. New York was awesome. It was New York was awesome. Yeah, everything's feathers to me though. Yeah, it's all light, you know, with all the working out. Okay, cool. Let's get this hooked up and we'll start doing stuff. Okay, let's, uh, hey, look at this, Blondie. It's my, it's my 3D printed bracket holder that they gave me. You got a whole PC, I got a 3D printed bracket. Take that. Anything else that you guys want me to cover? I mean, we're gonna go through thermals, we're gonna show some performance and all that sort of stuff next. Anything else that you guys wanna know information on for this? <laughs> no, I got it for me. That's for me. I'm trying to take the only thing I get. Well, that's not going to work. Okay. Grab that. Gonna get this turn on. Okay, you guys ready for the pretty? Because it is actually pretty when you turn it on. Here we go. And there it is. Look at that. How's that, huh? Here's the side. See, it's it's an attractive looking build. It is a actual fish tank, Hunter War. 
that we made with um, that we made with uh, in partnership with Height. But there's the actual build itself. Very pretty in terms of uh, just the look of the build. Yeah, it's a Height Y60. Yeah, just kitty. Yeah, I mean, it's a, like I said, it's pretty. I mean, the one thing I will say, it's one of the best, the prettiest builds that we have had on the show in terms of just look uh, from a pre-built standpoint. Which I, which I do like. It is DDR4, yeah, it's, it's 11th gen. Not a 12th gen, Raider. Okay, let's grab our, let's grab our uh, ugh, bench stuff. Yeah, the ketchup and mustard is the only tough part. Yeah. Yeah, rainbow puke does look good on this. Oh, now it's gonna go blue. There it is. Because blue is my favorite color. Nice, it's flyby. I like that. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard because it's got. I like that. It's got. It's got mayo mixed in. That actually is really gross. Purple would be superior. Oh, I like how Blondie's like getting all, she's getting all, she's getting all spunky up in here now. All of a sudden she's got a real gaming PC and she's all like, she's all like, I am, I'm in charge. I'm in charge now, Roby. Yeah, we can just black Sharpie. I use, well, I mean, this isn't my PC. This isn't my build. Like this is a uh, thermal take build. So I can't, I can't just throw it in there. Okay. Oh, let me fix the capture here. Since we're going to benchmark mode. Okay. So here we are, we're in the system now. Everything's already on here. Okay, so we did change something about our thermals. We actually ended up learning something about ADA 64. ADA 64 CPU testing uh, has not been updated for quite a while. So we are actually, uh, we actually changed the way that we actually do our um, testing now um, with, uh, you know, what is it here? Uh, CPU ID, I cannot remember the name. Hold on, let me bring up our restream stuff. So we actually do everything using Cinebench to basically get uh, CPU temps up that we can still read it with ADA 64. Um, I forgot the name of CPU ID. CPU ID. And I want, I don't want CPU Z. I want, hey, hardware monitor. Forgot to install this. It's the only thing I forgot. There we go. So we'll go ahead and put this on. There we go. So we can see this, so you guys can see this stuff too. So we're putting in hardware monitor. But we still use, um, there we go. Okay, so we got hardware monitor. Hey, what's up, Tricks for Trey? So far, Guardi Luco, the only one that I've seen is the, uh, the AMD, the uh, Asus ones, yes. And I think it was just because it was part of their, it was part of their, um, it was part of their big event that they did. Okay, so here's where we're sitting right now. You can see our voltages, uh, temperatures, all that sort of stuff. Uh, looks like our core temps are there. Well, it's sitting at 800 megahertz, and our temperature for our RAM. There's your package temperature right there. Is sitting at 32, 32 degrees, 33, 32 degrees right there. Okay, so let's open up. I'm gonna open up ADA 64, but we're not gonna use ADA 64 for our testing. 
Hey, any chatter, stay with it. Oh, is the desktop capture frozen? Oh, you're right, it's not working. Okay, let me fix that. Thank you for, f I'm glad I look, that's why I have chat in front of me. Oh, I know why, it's not frozen. Sorry, it's actually not frozen, it's not mirrored. Ha ah, ah. ha It's not, yeah, it's just on the wrong screen. That would help. There you go, now you can see it. Okay, now you guys should be able to see it all. Yep, okay. Okay, so here we go. Now you can see everything here. You guys are good there. Okay, so we're gonna run Perf Software. And we'll just, we're gonna run Ada64, but we're not gonna run Ada64. Okay, so we're gonna give this 15 minutes, essentially. I just wanna make sure you guys can see everything. So we'll go to here, so you guys can see the temps really nicely. Okay, so there's your, here's your temp bar of hardware monitor up for you as well. And then let's load Cinebench. And then we'll see where our CPU temps hit. Okay, we're gonna go to File, Advanced, uh, advanced Benchmark. Oops. We're gonna do a 30 minute test, which means we're just gonna, well, actually we'll do a 10 minute. Wait, sorry, actually we'll do this, hold on. We're gonna set it, we're gonna set it to 10 minutes instead of 30. There we go. So you guys can see it here. And then we'll do custom 10 minutes. And we'll run multi-core. And then now we're gonna watch temps here. Okay, so here we go. 6970. You guys can see them here too for our CPU stuff. Our NVIDIA is sitting at, RTX 36 is at 40 right now. And again, most of the stuff you'll see right here, but right now it's sitting at 70. Wow, Iron Master. He just, he's like, I'm bored. So I went to Robitech's thing. Okay, so we're starting to see temperatures creep up there. And again, these drops here that you're seeing right here is obviously when the thing restarts. This is an 11700K, remember guys. Yes, the PC has RGB, a lot of RGB. Here, I'll show you a wide screen so you guys can see. There's the PC we're testing right there while we're still waiting for attempts to go. So that's the actual PC right there that we're testing from uh, Thermaltake. Just again, for people who don't know, this is the Thermaltake while we're still running the testing here. I'll give you guys the rundown here. Uh, so this is the Thermaltake LCGS Avalanche Avalanche i370T. Uh, it's a 360 millimeter AIO, 11700K, 16 gigs of 3600 megahertz, and it's got a 3070 Ti in it. That's the system that you're looking at right now. You might be able to hypnotize the audience. 
I try. That's what I try to do is hypnotize the audience with this. Okay, so temperatures starting to creep creep into where I expect them to be. So just so you guys know, I have all of the numbers here from testing. Um, so our temperatures at idle, CPU was average was 32. And then close case, our, our half hour temperatures got into the eight, low 80s. It was 83 uh, close case for temps, which is what you're so, which is again, this is what you're kind of seeing here. And this, we use the same method here. Anything, uh, anything sticking out to you, Org, that you're taking a look at it? Anything that you see that's, uh, that's surprising or anything straightforward? I always like to get your opinion. There we go. It's a 700 watt PSU, Raider. Pretty straightforward. Again, you guys just wanting to see you guys straight up bench. You know, this is just showing you raw where things are. After this, what we're gonna do is we'll head back. After we're done with this, we'll give this like 10 minutes. Um, we'll head back over to the other side. We're gonna take off the uh, cooling plate to see what the thermal application is. Then we'll put our own thermal paste on it just to see if that makes a difference, again, in terms of the overall cooling, but we wanna see how the thermal, thermal, uh, how the thermal paste was applied. Another thing we can look at from a, from a, uh, a pre-built standpoint, so. Hey, I have a request, what's the request? Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I, I'll send it to you. It's it's different than what it was before. Yes, I found that out. Oh, stretch. Okay, stretch. Ugh. Mm, this is called this is called the. Oh, here we'll do. Here we'll do it this way. This is called the uh, jazz hand stretch. Oh, jazz hands. There we go. How was that one? That was a good one. Dino hands. Temps seem pretty good, right? In terms of performance and stuff like that. Yeah, guys, head on over. Make sure that you head on over to youtube.com slash Tech Live. Thumbs up for free and then unlocks the giveaway. We've already unlocked one giveaway already. So head on over there. Uh, and that basically, so YouTube, and while you're there, subscribe. We got more videos coming out. Oh, you applied for a flight degree, flight of office? It's letting it run. Right now it's been running. Oh yeah, you don't have a lapse time. Oh, it's running for four. It's run for, we got four minutes left, guys. Hurry, hurry what, Puma Dragon? Or were you trying to say, hey? He might have been saying, hey. Oh, guys, we have a request. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. There we go, dad joke. We'll get to that here in a minute when we go, before we take the other one. Wow, what is that like? I'd love to know what is, what, like, what, what ones do you get in that? Oh, I'm glad, Hunt to War. We, hey guys, hi guys. Watching Robotech, Robotech soothes and heals. Hunter War is proof. Soothing and healing happening to you right now. Just watching Robotech and benchmarking. Just saying. You know what, Creamy Thick? I haven't watched all the stuff on it. I kind of want to use it. I asked, I did write Corsair. I, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of the answer that they're not going to say yes, but I want to check it out for sure. I still want to check out the Corsair. I want to check out their, their laptop too. I haven't marked any, Vicar hasn't marked any benches recently. What's up, Nerdy? Doing good. We're just in the middle of doing some benching right now, showing you how the system does. That's right, Troubled Mind. We're giving you tech yoga right now.
We are getting there. Two minutes left, guys, and then we'll we'll take this off, and then we'll start checking out some gameplay things. But I think we've done a pretty good job in terms of temps. We can check temps of uh, for oh, you know what I should oh MSI afterburners on here. We can check CPU temps. Well, I mean GPU temps when we're gaming. We'll run some. Uh, we'll run the the. Uh, not that I'm worried about GPU. I think right now I, I do have GPU temps here. I'll tell you what they are under since under load. They're a little bit lot harder to get temps up. Uh, so GPU average temp for closed for open. Sorry for closed case uh, was uh, 69. 69 uh, was the uh, GPU temp uh, under load. So an 83 for CPU. I just want to do it. I'm healing you. Okay, so apparently, okay, so let's do a dad joke because apparently there's a good dad joke in, there's a good dad joke in the dad joke sections of the thing. So I'm going to go in here and find it. Okay, we're going to look at, we're going into, if you guys want to do dad jokes, uh, you can post them in our Discord. Okay. <laughs> okay. This one is from Wes. Wes. Wees. Okay. I don't know how to say the name. What do you call an elephant mixed with a rhino? What do you call an elephant mixed with a rhino? Elephino. <laughs> oh, wait. I just got that. <laughs> Elephino. That's good. That's good! Oh my god, that was good! I just got that. I just read it and then I then I said it out loud and I was like, oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh if I know. <laughs> okay, we gotta call Brenda on that one. No, oh, that's gotta get that's a that's a that's a call Brenda. That's actually a good one. Okay, here we go. We gotta call we gotta call Brenda. Okay, here we go. Where is she? Here we go. <laughs> nice, I like that one, Vicar. My dad died last week, so sad. We might have been able to save him if only he knew his blood type. I still remember his last words to be, be positive. Okay, we're calling, we're calling, we're calling Grandpa, we're calling, we're calling him, because Brenda's not answering. We gotta tell somebody this joke. Why is nobody answering the phone? Yes, I'm a dad. Nobody's answering the phone. This is so disappointing. Oh, our thing is done. Please leave your message. Uh, I'm gonna t I'm, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make her call. Okay, well, we're gonna do this and say, okay, here we go. Communicate, announce, Brenda, please call me. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're going to announce it. Hopefully, it's your call. Okay, so uh, we are done with the temperature here. Uh, looks like we got to uh, we got to about eight. It looks like it was just at what just yeah right around where we expected it to be in the 80s. So we're good there. And then look, there's the temperature here too. 82 is what we got up to. So 82. So there it is right there in terms of temps. So pretty good. Uh, I mean. I don't know if, I mean, again, I'm guessing if we added a, you know, that we have, we do have a somewhat cut off front panel. Um, I could see, do we have another, I don't think we've done another 11700K, so I could see if we've seen stuff with a lower temperature. Uh, hold on one sec, let me see. See if we can look on another thing. So you guys can know, what does this compare to like maybe another case? Question is, do we have one that has an 11700? It's gonna be way older here.
This has a 12 900. Okay, keep, we're gonna keep looking. I've tested a lot of PCs. Okay, here's an 11 900K, 11 600K, 5700G, 5950X. Okay, here's a 10 700K. As an, this is in a TD500. So our closed temps, just 10 700. This is an airflow case. CPU temps were 98, so that seems not good. <laughs> 11900K, 11700K, got one, here we go. This is an XPG Defender Pro. Temperatures were in the 80s for this one. So 80s, so again, another, I think the Defender Pro was not a airflow case though. So I don't think that's a good, I don't have a, I don't know if I have a, okay, here we, what else we got? 10 900K. 11900K, 11900K. Yeah, that's the only 11700K that I have. 80 and a Defender. So that's that's what I got for uh, for the other to max temperatures. <laughs> oh, we could do that. That's actually a good point. I think I could take that off. Let me see. Let's see what this is without the temp. Gosh. I think we can take this off. Okay. Thank you, that, that was the smarter move. Okay, with the glass off. Okay, glass is off now, you guys can see that. I'll show you from cam link, glass is off. Thanks, for, <laughs> that was way smarter. Uh, this is why we do things, so glass is off now. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. And go from here. Okay, here we go, same thing. And we, you know, again, it's still, it's actually pretty close. So we'll start this now. Multi-core, and here we're gonna see. Okay, so here it goes. There's hardware. So starting off, look at that. We're a little bit lower starting off. If you look at here, sitting at 72. But we'll see how this goes for 10 minutes, too. Do RGB lighter have? Yes, they do, Kurosaki. They do actually have light. Uh, you can actually change the light, uh, how bright they are. Here's a list of lights that we get in the degree. Pirate pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot, multi-engine pilot, certified flight instructor, certified flight instructor, instrument, certified flight instructor, multi-engine instructor. Wow. So how long does it take for that degree? And do, are you like in Arizona where Embry-Riddle is or where does it actually, where do you actually get the degree? And I'm trying to see what you guys can see. Okay, good, I'm on the right thing. That's pretty cool. It's only, it's all in a month? Oh, mouthful. That's Blondie, Never mind. that's not you. I thought, I shot, I just read that like, it's, in, it's all in a month. So, um, actually what we have a tendency to do is we do similar to what we're just doing right now, Hunt to War, which is Cinebench R23, and then just running Cinebench R23. And then we, uh, we, have a, we have a series of gameplay benchmarks that we'll just run on it um, for, for, uh, for stability purposes as well. Uh, Heaven is another one. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's some free ones that you can basically use, but uh, Cinebench is actually a really good one. This is what most people use Cinebench and then 3D Mark uh, are two that we use when we overclock to see if they run through the whole thing for. Uh... Wow, it's a full college degree. So are you are you hoping to get into air like into flying, like full time? Oh, Hunter War, are you gonna play with us today? 
Oh, I just want to be able to fly everywhere. Oh, there you go. Do you have a plane you're looking at, Hunter, uh, Blade? Like, or are you just gonna join like a pilot club? Guys, for those people joining us, wondering what's going on, we're just benchmarking, and then at the same time, we get to chat with you guys while we benchmark. So we have done a version of this, just so you guys know, I do know what the temps are gonna be like in open case. So we're actually pretty close to where temps should stay, right around 74 um, was where it was in the open case scenario, which is just, which is the same thing, because open case, the side's not gonna matter because the air, the, all the fans are from the front, but 74, so it should, it actually looks like it's a, uh, just shy of a nine degree difference between open front end and closed. Oh, Starlink, yeah, oh, that's cool. Hey guys, 105 of 275 people, there's 244 people here. So if we have about 100 people who haven't gone over to youtube.com slash Live and hit that thumbs up button, can we just quickly get to 200? Head on over right now, while we're waiting for the benchmark staff, we still have five minutes left. Head on over to youtube.com slash Live. hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and go from there. Likes are free. So it looks like this is about where it's gonna sit. We're gonna give it another five minutes, but yeah. Thank you, Hamlet, appreciate it. Where are you located, Hunt to War? Kilt man, just so you guys know. Thank you, Nelson. And, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a pre-built. Just so you know, Nelson. We're just we're ver we're validating a pre-built right now. Uh, Keltman, just so you know, we are going to be doing a raid. Uh, we're going to be doing an instance. If you are playing World of Warcraft with us, that's going to be coming up after we're finished with the, the stream here. So head on over, log in. We're going to be doing uh, Razor, Fin, Razor Fin, whichever the lower level one is. Oh, he's online. Okay, just you. Yeah, I heard me. Yeah. So I'm just letting you know, that's the one we're going to do here in half an hour. Maybe a little less. Once we run some, some game benchmarks. So what do you guys think so far with based on what you've seen, like while we're waiting for this, what do you guys think so far of the, uh, of the Thermaltake uh, LG, uh, LCGS uh, 13070 I370T? It's a mouthful. What do you guys think so far uh, based on what you've seen from build, uh, pricing, uh, thermal performance, where, where is your head at? No, Kevin, not at all. I would, I would go to, I, for a 3080 Ti, I would be doing at least 850 watts. I know, I know that we were, yeah, yeah, I would do 850 watts at least for a 3080 Ti. Love to get your guys' thoughts on what you guys think of the system so far. Okay, okay, Blade of Ice, that's, that's fair feedback. Well, if you, as long as you're not having issues, but it, it's, the power issues can show up in different ways. So if you start to see that you're having weird issues, it could be stuff like, um, oh, there's a bunch of things that power could be related to. So if you start to notice weird gremlins, then it might be worth upgrading your PSU. Does the, yes, it does. It has DisplayPort and uh, HDMI, but I have the G, I'm on the GPU, which also has DisplayPort. I got you, it's fly by me. Well, thanks for being honest, Rainfall. 
What's up, MCMIXXY? Got about two minutes left on this, and then we'll, uh, it looks like it's just sitting at 74 for our average temp. Oh, nice, kill man. I like that. I like that. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good, uh, that's a good mark right there. Hey, Jonathan B., thank you very much. How are we doing likes on YouTube there? Uh, Blondie, anything better? Getting better? We're going to 200. We're going to the moon, guys. Let's see if we can get 119. That is not anywhere near 200. Uh, it's a 700 watt uh, thermal take power supply. K version has IGD. What does that mean, Nelson? Okay, so it might be a good opportunity just to go through while we wait for this last minute, just to go through what the giveaways are for today. Uh, giveaways for today are if we get 200, 250, we're still trying to get to, I'm trying to get to 200 to get us closer to 250. But if we get 250 likes over at youtube.com slash where we tech live, we'll be giving away a $25 new aid gift card. If we already have, we've already gotten a, uh, we already got a level five pipe train, so we're gonna give away a $25 new aid gift card for that. Just try to get to 200. So we can get closer to that, guys. There's a, uh, hey, Hunter War, thank you for the five gifts and stuff. We're at 235 people here, so we're just trying to get those likes up. Uh, lastly, uh, we have a 3070, a 3080 up for grabs for the month of August and September. So head on over to twitch.tv slash Robitech. Use your free Amazon Prime subscription, and then that'll get you a free entry towards uh, winning that uh, GPU. Now, if you subscribe at tier one, that gets you five extra entries. Uh, sorry, three extra entries. Subscribe to tier two, you get five. If you subscribe to tier three, you get 10 entries, uh, which is epic, right? And then lastly, we have the PC giveaway, which you can actually check out here in the corner. Uh, we're getting really close to getting, I think we're getting close to 400 subs, right? Yeah, so we get to, uh, we're getting close to 400. When we get to 1,500 subs, we're gonna give a PC away right here on the stream the day that we hit 1,500 subs. So all of your sub stuff goes to support that and then that giveaway for you guys. And for all the rules, head over to discord.gg slash robytech and that's where all your rules are. But hit that like, go to youtube.com, youtube.com slash robytech live, hit that thumbs up button, guys. We have enough people to basically get really, really close. And if we get above 200, I'll probably just give it away. Uh, the GPU is not, the GPU is also US and Canada only. Um, unless there are, yes, unless, uh, yes, the GPU is only US and Canada. Okay, so we are, it looks like we're good in that. So again, 74 is where we basically ended up. Let's, let's, uh, before we jump too far, let's go, let's just give you guys some good numbers on games. And then we'll just take a look at the thermal paste application to see what that looks like. And then we'll go back to gaming. Okay, so we got some good games here. Let's get Steam up here. Make this set up here. Okay. Okay, so we'll start with Cyberpunk 2077. See how this performs. This is an 11700K and a 3070Ti, 16 gigs of RAM on a one terabyte Barracuda. Still impressed with that, that's hardware. Yeah, temp seemed fine. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot MSI. A lot of wow, that's a lot of lot of intro. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's bring up MSI after. Whoa, that was not 1080p. There we go. Let's get our overlay set up. Okay, monitoring. We want GPU usage. We'll do memory usage. Core clock. Let's 
CPU temperature, frame rate average. My GPU temperature. Oh, GPU temperature. Okay, apply. Okay, so we're the GPU temperature showing on green screen. GPU usage showing on green display. Memory usage show. Memory usage. I don't care about this. CPU temperature show. And frame rate average show. Frame one percent show. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that sounds about right, Kevin. 40 frames per second at 4K with no DLSS. I uh, we have a 10. I just run. Uh, I'll do it here, just to test it. But right now we'll get it up in here. You can see GPU temperature and CPU temp is wrong. Let me put the glass back on so you guys can see it with the glass. I want to make sure we test it right. No false information here. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's set up the benchmark real quick. Settings, graphics. Video. Okay, we're 1440p, V-Sync is off. Graphics, we're gonna do custom, and then we're gonna make DLSS on balance. Actually, we'll do perform, uh, oops, ooh. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna defaults, okay. Okay, I just wanna make sure defaults are on. Ray tracing, ultra, video is 2560, V-Sync is off. We'll put DLSS to balanced, apply, and then we'll run our benchmark. Okay, so GPU temperature right now is sitting at 60, CPU temperature at 54. Memory usage, there you go. And there's your FPS right now sitting at 60 frames per second. This is at 1440p. One thirty-four, it's getting there. Keep hitting those likes, guys. Let's see, can we just get to 200? I think I'm just gonna do what Blondie said. Let's get to 200 and do the giveaway. We just need 70 people to go hit like over at youtube.com slash rubytechlive. There's more than enough people to do it. Well, it's more than that, Nelson, because you'd have to do a different motherboard and all that sort of stuff to go to a 12700. They do have a 12600 version as well um, that comes with uh, DDR5 uh, and a 3060 Ti, and I think it's just at 2K. That one's not discounted for Intel Gamer Days though. Okay, so average frames per second. Uh, this is not bad at 1440p with DLSS set to balance 62.64, min frame rate with 9.4, max frame rate 109. It ran 64 seconds, so that was actually pretty good. Okay. Let's check Metro. Well, I, if you wanted to get higher, you could go to Performant. Okay, let's go to Metro. We want to do run. Let's 
We'll do ultra. Uh, Twenty-five sixty by fourteen forty shader quality DLSS set to balance. Okay, and then hit run. So there we go. Checking out Metro Exodus. This is Metro Exodus with uh, on Ultra with um, DLSS set to balance. Takes a little while to load, by the way. There he goes. Am I frozen? Oh, there he is. It's just my PC being wacky. Well, Rocket League isn't really like the most demanding game, but that's good for that's good for having Rocket League at that. I mean, that's still a great system. I mean, I'm not. I mean, what's your? You have a high-end system, so you want good frames. It's good that you're happy with it. We don't have it installed. I don't have it installed, so that would take too long for us to do that. Halo, uh, Halo Infinite. That game's not slow to install. I mean, that game's not fast to install. Uh, Nelson, I worked on that game. So there we go right there. Average frame rate was 98. That's pretty good. So 98 frames per second. So. Okay, so there's that. Let's do one more. We'll do Shadow of the Tomb Raider. See how this one basically runs? These are ones that we have installed. Okay, we'll go to play. Yeah, totally not familiar with Halo. Okay, options, graphics. Okay, DLSS, we're gonna set it to balanced. 3070 and then monitor refresh rate. Oh, I guess, well, I mean, it doesn't matter what to do 60, but V-Sync's off and then hit run benchmark. No. Yes, okay, there we go. Waiting for the system to restart. There we go. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. 150, 160 frames per second. There we go. Are these paid games? Yes, these are all games that we've purchased specifically because they have benchmarks.
What's the wet paper towel trick? But I mean, again, you can see though with gaming, temperatures are much lower than what we see from like when we were doing Cinebench. Uh, it depends on high temp, I, the, it depends on how fast NVIDIA is able to get through their gluttony of 33,000 series cards. I would do a 3090 Ti now because it's going, it's their 1200 bucks. A 4090 is not going to be, it's gonna be $2,000 and you're probably talking about $800 for what could be as much as probably 20%. I would do a 3090 Ti now. $800 isn't worth 20%. Yeah, I would do a 3090. 3090 Ti prices are so ridiculous right now. Yes. They have so many cards. Why, what does that do, Kevin? That seems like a scary thing to do. What are you trying to fix? Yeah, 3080 Ti's are so weird. Oh, got it. Sorry, I missed that. Okay. So I keep trying to use AMD GPUs because I want to. I want to have one in a system at the house, right? So I had one on my 4K OLED system for a while, um, and I ended up going back to a 3090 Ti. I had a 6950. Um, and then I went back to it because I was just having a ton of driver's issues. Uh, 30, I prefer the EVGA over the Asus. Okay, so there it is right there, guys. Last kind of benchmark from a gaming standpoint. So it looks like we got 167 frames per second. I mean, to be honest, I mean, like, this is like, oh, that's not the right thing. Uh, okay, so, I mean, gameplay-wise, pretty good temps. You know, closed case, I mean, again, if you really wanted to, you could just do an open, you could just, if you really wanted to improve temps, you could just take the front off. It's got a dust cover on it. So you could, I mean, that's a nice little hack that you actually have from a creative standpoint, is just pull the front cover off of the, the PC and your temps could go down significantly. Um, and it's not gonna get any more dusty than what you saw before. Um, cable management on the thing, really impressed with how good the cable management was. Um, and then performance wise from a game, it's an 11, 700 K with a 3070 TI, right? You saw the numbers in there. And then, like I said, when we talked about the overall cost, uh, if you were going to purchase this PC just and build it yourself without a one year warranty, without all of the things and even the ability to return it, uh, it's only about $40 more to just purchase it completely pre-built and have all the warranty and stuff through a single company. So that's where things sit on this system. I think we're, we're gonna do one more thing, which we're gonna take a look at the thermal paste application since that's the only thing we had left. We wanted to run it as it was stock first. Uh, and then uh, after that, we'll, we'll go into some, just some normal gaming um, and see, you know, we're gonna game for the rest of the night on this system. So night being two or three hours afterwards. And we are at 148 likes, guys. So we have 50 more likes to go. And there's 235 people here. So if you guys want to head on over to youtube.com slash Ruby Tech Live, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, we could do that giveaway. So I'm going to shut this down and then we're going to take a look at the thermal paste application. You're welcome, Hunted War. I'm glad that you're feeling relaxed. Okay, so let's go over to this other side again. We're going to go back to Cam Link. So that's the system as it is now. So here's the system we have. It's been, it's been run through the ringer. 
get it all undone here. Let's take a look at the thermal paste application. Because that's kind of the last thing. But again, you know what? Not bad. And for the price as it is right now, as it is done right now, it's really not bad. He, uh, again, it seems like most of you guys' feedback on this has been about the ketchup and mustard cabling, which I could completely understand. Use this to... Okay, let's take a look at our, let's take a look at our cabling here. Hey, Zartman, thank you very much for the sub. Real, real Steel PC, thank you for the sub. Uh, TK McKenzie, also thank you for the sub. I think I missed that as well. So thank you very much for those subs, guys. 377, getting it awfully close to 400, which is awesome. All right, so let's go to top down here. Okay, we're gonna remove the, we're gonna remove the AIO top here. See how the thermal paste is. Yeah, it's just, that's the, yeah, it kind of freaked me out the first time. I was like, no, but then I realized it's how it is. Okay, so let's remove this. Ooh, I can definitely feel, is that captive? Oh, ooh. Okay. Interesting. It's not coming in done. There we go. Oh, the whole cap came up there. Okay. Okay, so I'd say that's actually pretty dang good. Huntaward, thank you very much for the gifted subs. I'd say that's actually pretty good. So we've got, they did a full spread of thermal paste and it's a good amount. Yeah, that's actually a really good application of thermal paste. So yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. I just gotta replicate what they did with their cable stuff. I'm still here hanging on your every word. Gonna put that right there, grab a paper towel and we'll put a new application in. They did a spread, it was not a this looks like they spread it, they didn't just uh, dab it. Do you think... Well, that's what I, that's what I appreciate about Borg. And this was sent to me, and I'll confirm this, but this was sent to me from Amazon. 
So this was not seeded to me from um, like, this was actually sent from Amazon, ordered for me from what I understand. Oh, packing wise, it came packed with the usual, it was box in a box. Um, Box in a box with uh, with um, Instapack, all that sort of stuff. So nothing like in terms of packing, it obviously got into here. It got to me okay. Packing seemed fine too. I was a full spread. In other words, they spread the they spread the uh, thermal paste instead of just using the P method to make sure it was nice and even. And it is right here. I can see it as an Intel Core i7 11700K. So it is, I mean, not that we didn't check that inside, but I can now see it directly from me. Okay, so let's put more thermal paste back on it. Well, Org, we saw that, we literally saw that yesterday, right? Yeah, it is better, because then you can check the spread, you make sure that the entire IHS is covered. Okay, I'll put this down a little bit more. I want to make sure it looks as close to the The, the paste I use is Thermaltake, uh, sorry, uh, is actually uh, Noctua, the Noctua N NTH1. System is done. Okay, so you have seen everything. Is there anything else that I can cover that you guys haven't seen about this system that you just want to know about? Is there anything else that I've missed? Something you would have liked to have seen more on? There we go. Anything else that I can show you guys for the build or did I cover it pretty thoroughly? What's up? So your IP address is attached to the MAC address of your G of your uh, Ethernet card. It's actually your Ethernet card that has your MAC address. That's your IP address.
What's the brand of CPU battery? Oh man, I'm assuming, jeez. I have to remove the GPU. I wonder if I can see it, hold on. You mean the BIOS battery? I have no idea, dude. I'm not gonna, I don't know if taking the GPU out for that makes a lot of sense. Do you really need to know it? What do you wanna know for the, what do you wanna know that for? I'm just out of curiosity. Um, sag on the GPU? Uh, it doesn't seem, I don't know, there could be some sag. These are actually pulling pretty hefty. But yeah, there, it looks like there's a little bit of sag. Cost of PC is 16, uh, 1600, 1600 bucks. Six, uh, just shy of 1700. Yeah, it's for price, price wise, and then if you were to build it yourself, it's uh, $40 less. Some of them are lower, but yeah. Guys, 164, 200, we're getting close. 30 more people just need to go hit that thumbs up button. Getting this closed is not easy. I will say that the getting this to catch, there it goes. This will someday be someone's retro PC. That's kind of, that's true. Anything else that I can answer about the case, the build, or that I didn't cover? If not, we'll get into some normal gaming. Battle of the side panel. And we'll be gaming on this tonight. What's up, Barada Gaming? See if we can get that last. We're gonna go through deals here real quick and then we'll do the last giveaways then. I don't see anybody else asking any other questions. So it feels like you guys feel happy with what I was able to cover today and uh, did a good job going through the whole build. You guys feel like I did a, a, a quality job covering it. Uh, game today, we're gonna to be playing World of Warcraft Classic. And then maybe a little bit more. Uh, dude, I had a bad day, bad day in Hearthstone today. Uh, part of it was just, the first part was like just bad, bad draws but man i did some like got some excitement and ended up costing myself some losings costing myself some w's glad i'm glad you guys enjoyed the show Ugh. uh i think we actually do have a link for the thermal paint they're actually from thermal grizzly if you want to check them out, they are from Thermal Grizzly, um, and uh, we order them all the time. Oh, there it is, right there, special three pack. It's like, who do you think I am that I don't have the Thermal Grizzly? Uh, you can't use any of them, Skater. None of them use. All of them use the new connector. You can't use Lee and Lee streamers with 3090 Ti's. You'd have to use a 3090 or a 3080 Ti. I don't even think, I don't even think NVIDIA is making 3090s anymore. Uh, it's not that I prefer, I, I mean, it's just with uh, Wrath coming out, I'm actually pretty stoked about playing Wrath, so that's why I'm using that right now. Jacob, it's okay. We still love you. I forgive you for showing up late. Okay. Just gonna pull our deals over and then get ready for the giveaways.
Okay. Take a look at our deals for today. Yeah, I do like I do like Supreme. I, I like their just clean, simple shirts, and I have a ten, so I bought a I bought like a number of them. So I really do I do like them. Hydrate. I will hydrate right now, and then we'll get into deals. Okay, let's talk about deals real quick. Okay, so uh, if you ever want to check out, we, if you're ever looking for, oops, that would not be. Why did it not show up? Oh, it's not. Hold on. I choose the wrong wrong one. Sometimes I choose the wrong one. Okay, hold on. We have two of these here, and some one of these works and one of these doesn't. Is it this one that works? No, it's not that one. was showing up, but now it's not. Hold on. There's the only two, right? Yeah. Huh, what's going on here? We just lost our, oh, sorry. I just realized you guys can't see me. Sorry about that. Got a weird issue here. Like it's all been working, and then now all of a sudden it's not working. I'm just gonna try this just to see if I can figure out which one of these is actually the right one. If it's a GPU issue, or if it's a. Doesn't seem to be coming through that one. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my screen here. And it's weird because it's like it should all be just fine. It was just working like a second ago and now it's not. Okay, there's the display port. Okay, we're gonna figure out what's going on here. Hold on. What is this one too? Here. Why we have two of these and what the other one is belongs to, but we're kind of trying to figure it out here. Give me a sec, guys. While you're at it, make sure you hit the likes. this which then goes into what okay that belongs to this so that's actually the one that's actually the one this is whoa so this is actually the one that goes to the 
That's actually the right one, okay. There, okay. Showed up there briefly. Oh, okay, there we go, okay. Fix that, okay. I don't know what that goes to, what this goes to. Okay, got it fixed, guys. Just had to do a little surgery to figure out what that was. All right, sorry about that. Now, so uh, you can finish. Uh, one thing that I just love about Tom, Tom finds us some really good deals. And uh, 26 more likes, by the way, guys. 26, let's see if we can get those last 26 likes. Uh, if, uh, so we go to robotechdeals.com. Uh, this is a great place to find things like if you want to actually have me build you a PC. This is where you go to have me purchase and build a PC for you. This is where our streaming schedule is. This is where our store is. So if you want to get a build mat or whatever it was, all that stuff is located right here on uh, Robitech Deals, uh, robitech.com. We also have things like if you like a build or a, or a pre-built or whatever it was, you can see that stuff here. So here's the Avalanche system, all the parts if you wanted to build that yourself. Uh, plus also things like the Blondie But Geeky build uh, or the stream builds. So if you find a particular build you really like, you can also check that out here as well. But deals, guys be prepared because I don't know what deals, uh, you know, he's been a little bit on a bender. So for deals, so we might get some surprise deals. So just, just be ready, just, just be ready, okay. Okay, first one, uh, Samsung 980 two Pro, two terabyte NVMe SSD, $224.99, so almost $200 for a, uh, uh, almost $200 uh, for two terabytes. That's a great price for a two terabyte 980 Pro, I have to admit. Uh, EVGA X17 gaming mouse, wired black mouse custom, uh, uh, wired mouse, uh, 17, uh, let's see, 17 dollars, wow, 17 bucks for that gaming mouse. Uh, XFX a AMD Radeon 6900 XT, $799.99. Uh, and that's a really good price for that, okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, Intel Core i9 12900KS, down from 800 bucks, $649.99. Use that promo code GAMEDAYS22. Uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop Go 2 for you looking for back to school. Tom's laughing, look at him. Uh, looking for back to school. 12.4 uh, inch touchscreen, Core i5, eight gigs of memory, 256 gig SSD, 649.99. That's a really good back to school laptop. We covered this as part of the PC mag. And then, Tom, okay. Tautronics Muscle Massage Gun Deep Tissue Precision Handheld Electric Massager with 20 speeds, 29.99. So if you wanna get a muscle massager, $29.99, $50 off. I don't know, man. This is what Tom does. Between this and the air fryer and the, he did the air fryer and then he had the Netflix Stranger Things t-shirt for 20 bucks. So, you know, Tom controls these things. That's what he does. Okay, deals I'm pretty stoked about. That 6900 XT for $799. Obviously the 12900KS if you have the cooling port and then that two terabyte. Actually these, 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 uh, the, the, these right here. I, don't, I mean, the EVGA, the mouse is just, it's such a uh, it's such a personal choice. But that two terabyte, the KS, the Surface Go, and then that 6900 XT are pretty good prices. Is that essential to back to school? According to Tom, it is. According to Tom, that is essential to back to school, um, getting, uh, getting, your, uh, getting your back massaged. So, there you go. See, Rotten Treats wants it. Okay, so, uh, so, no rest for the wicked says your PC deserves a massage. Let me just say, don't, don't use a, a massager on your PC. I just, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, exactly. If you, if you finish owning the noobs, then you go and uh, pick up a muscle massager afterwards. Tread carefully, exactly. There you go. Okay, uh, anyway guys, that's it for deals. How are we doing likes on YouTube? Hey, where, do, we have, do we have our number yet? Are we close? 200, that's what we're trying to get guys. Uh, we'll do the, we got two, 187, 13 more people, head on over, let's hit that thumbs up button, head over to youtube.com slash robytechlive, go hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe while you're there, and then we'll get to gaming and uh, finish tonight's episode out.
So that's that's it for the uh, whole day. And we got to 383. So we're guys, we're only um, we're only 17 subs away from having 400 subs too. So we're actually really close to that too. Oh, Kevin Hamlet already owns the massage. There you go, Tom. You're welcome, Tom. I know that you were like really excited. He was like, he's been a little bummed because we haven't done deals. And I was like, and then I got reminded. Thank you, No Rest for the Wicked. Okay, so what's on tap for the next couple days? So tomorrow, 4.30 p.m., it starts a little bit later. We are doing a mod workshop. Pretty excited. It's actually an air-cooled 12900K build. So inside of a fractal torrent. Um, so I'm actually really excited about that. So that's gonna be happening tomorrow. Uh, and then on Saturday, we are back. We are doing a, uh, what are we doing? We're actually doing a pretty cool build on Saturday. Let me take a look at it. Um, Build on Saturday is a commission build, I believe. I'm gonna verify that here in a second. Build on Saturday is a Core i9-12900K H150 in a, oh, H, it's a Height Y60 build on Saturday. We're gonna be doing a Height Y60 build in a red Height Y60, so that's gonna be happening on Saturday. Uh, that is 4.30 p.m., Blondie. I just found out today it's later. So yeah, that's, uh, that's, wow. 192 of 200, eight more subs, guys. Let's get those last, let's get those last eight subs. Uh, deals as well on Saturday, yeah. Saturday is just a regular stream, yeah. Oh, she wants to use military time, so that would be 16.30 PS specific time. And there's a 1.30 PM, there's a 13.30 uh, PM Amazon time. Oh, he said, Tom says we'll have some special deals. But yes, there's a 13.30 p.m. Pacific time uh, deal stream for Amazon too. Come on guys, it's 20, it's 2018. It looks like eight gifted subs there for, we got, wow, gifting eight. Thank you, Hunter War. Thank you very much for all the subs today, man. You are, you are definitely on the list for uh, next week for the uh, top sub guy for sure. And we're nine subs away, guys. Nine subs away from 400. Can we get those last nine subs? That'd be awesome and hit that list too. So it's 20, it's 2018 Pacific time right now. So uh, we are coming up on this. We're trying to get those last eight likes and then we'll get over and play some World of Warcraft. And we're gonna do a, we're gonna do an instance. So that should be fun. Uh, Jim, Ka thank you, Jim Kaba, Kibax. Jim Kibax dropping 10 subs and taking it to 400. We are now almost less than a, a thousand away from giving away that PC. Thank you, Jimmy. Dodging subs like the Matrix. Did you get one that time, Makins? Four to go, guys. Four likes to go. Hit that thumbs up button. There's 241 people here. We only need like four likes. People are like, I will not do my part, Roby. I will not thumbs up this content. I do not believe in what you are doing. Well, please, believe, believe. We gotta hit 200. I already dropped it by like 50. Can we drop, can we get the link to the YouTube video? Let's just put it in the chat and then we'll get those last four. Those last four thumbs up. We're at the end of the, of the song too. Hey, retired USFA gamer. I haven't seen you in a while. Or maybe I have. Maybe I just haven't paid attention and I apologize. I just, I'm an Air Force freak, so I love, I love the Air Force. 198, two more links, two more subs. There it is, YouTube goal reach. Let's do that giveaway. Two $25 new gift cards coming up. Okay, here we go. So this is, uh, let's do, let's do uh, just for the sake of it, let's do continue with Intel Gamer Days, since this is for Intel Gamer Days, I, I, uh, exclamation point Intel Gamer Days, and this is for two $25 UA gift cards. Actually, never mind. we're gonna do uh, Thermal Take, exclamation point Thermal Take. Yeah, they're the guys who sponsored this. We might as well do it. There we go. Exclamation point Thermal Take, guys. I'm doing well, thank you. Teppens Tech, how are you, man? Good. Okay, exclamation point, double take, guys. Drawing two winners. 
And then we're going to get into some World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Warcraft of World. The world of that that's got the Warcraft. The Warcrafting of the world. Oh, and there's the end of the music. Well, that's perfect, actually, because we're going to jump. We're going to get game. We're going to get music gameplay here in a minute. Music sounds. Game sounds here in a minute. Wiggy. Wiggy, wiggy. Okay. It's like perfect timing. It's like the game knew they were, they were ready. Okay, one minute left, guys, and we're going to move over to gaming. Let's go to, I'm going to go fix the game stuff while we're at it here real quick. We got a minute left. There we go. That's ready. Oh, and, and don't forget, if you are a sub, you do get extra entries in to the giveaways. I forgot about that. Hunter War, I think you're like the top. Yeah, you're the top person this year. You want a ticket to the gun show. How'd you like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, baby. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get a hold of Brenda because, like, she's in the car. Okay. While you guys are waiting. She's headed home. Let's get a call her. Hey, you're live on Robitech. Hello? Hey, you're live on Robitech. Hi, how are you? Good. What do you call an elephant mixed with a rhino? What's going on? What do you call an elephant mixed with a rhino? Can you hear me? Did she hang up on me already? Brenda? What happened? I want to call. Ah, she, she hung up. She's like, I don't want to hear this joke. Your call has been oh, no. Is it dead? Oh, she might be in a gun to a dead zone. This is the worst. Here we go. I'm not going to get denied in this joke. Hello? Hello? Hello. Are you, hey. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. What do you call an elephant mixed with a rhino? What? Elephino. That's good. Elephino. That was good. That was a good one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. That was a good one. We got to do it. Okay, I got to call Grandpa. I'm telling, every, I'm telling that joke to everybody. Thank you, Roby. Everybody from Roby Tech says hi. Hey, everyone. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, here we go. One more, Grandpa, who's who's also works here. He's he works with me. He's gonna answer this. Might have to call Grandma, because Grandpa's not answering his phone. This is how we're going to end the stream before we go to gaming. Oh, man. These people. Why do you not have your, why do you not have your phone? <clears throat> okay, here we go. We're going to call Brenda. Brenda, yeah, she's already left. Crank calls. Yeah, that's the whole stream is just me calling people and telling people dad jokes. The whole stream. Nobody is answering their phones. At least we got Brenda. 
And now I'm calling my neighbor. I'd watch that stream. <laughs> These people are terrible. Oh, here he goes. Okay. Hey, are you there? Yeah, hello. Oh, hey, hey, you're live on Roby Tech. I'm live on Roby Tech. What's up? What do you call an elephant mixed with a rhino? I don't know. What do you call an elephant that's mixed with a rhino? Elephino! <laughs> Elephino! <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good That's one. That's a dad joke being told to my dad. That's like meta. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That's incredible. That's awesome. Okay. That's my story. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay. We have we have brought we have brought joy and peace to the people. Okay, that is what we did. I gotta go urinate on myself. Okay, uh, that is it for a oh, winner. We probably want to pick a winner. Uh, winner for the winner. Uh, congratulations to Gunlauger and Killman. Holy moly, Gunlauger and Killman winning the $25 New Age gift cards. Uh, that is uh, that was awesome, guys. Uh, congratulations to Gunlauger and Killman, both people. Killman is gonna be joining us on this on this uh, on this uh, dungeon run here pretty soon. So yeah, that was it. So congratulations to you two. You are the winners. Huge shout out to Underwar for the uh, amazing sponsorship. Uh, Jimmy Kaba X for coming in clutch, uh, getting us over 400 subs today. We are going to transition to gaming. We're going to transition to gaming in just a second. Um, and I think Blondie's going to be signing off. She's going to get. She's going to go home. Just so you guys know, Blondie has been practicing and working on the area where she's going to be putting her new PC. Um, and so that's been her whole focus. So she's just been like working on her area for that. That's what that's what she's been doing the whole time. But yeah, we're not done. We're not done. But if you are over on YouTube, uh, super appreciate you guys hanging out. If you kind of come want to come watch this game, head over to twitch.tv slash Robitech because we are going to be saying goodbye to our YouTube and Facebook audience and jumping just to gaming over at Twitch. So it's uh, it's going to be awesome and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to jump over to the other side here and then we'll get started on the gaming. I feel like I've, I've hyped that up enough, but yeah, let's go over here and get ready to do some gaming. Ugh, Alifino! Oh man, such a good, such a good, such a good joke. I will tell that joke so much. Okay, so let's head over, let's go, uh, YouTube, thank you very much for hanging out uh, and being a part of uh, the stream today. Uh, love you guys, you know I do, and uh, we will see you guys uh, on tomorrow uh, for the Mod Workshop and then again on Saturday for a really epic build. So see you guys later, and we'll talk later.